do it. You are the one that suffered the good things in our life, and you, God, you are going to perfect it. The enemy shall be put to shame in our life. All of us both that are online right now and those that are not on, we shall all be blessed and have a glorious testimony to the praise and glory of the Almighty Jehovah. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall I play the song, the Sister Oli? Right. Okay. You can play it. Yes.
Hallelujah. Are you scared of fighting dad? Not if we are together. Should we do the thing that people do? What are they called? Uh, Hug? Yeah, there it is. You sucked up to him and you cut me out. It's not my fault. Hey, man. Hey, me, skip adverts. <laughs>
In our life continuously in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, I, I thank God that uh, today we are, I want to go straight to the message and then our sister Lou will lead us into prayer after the announcement by the grace of God. Uh, the message comes from uh, Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. From past 14. And the answer, some say, 
John the Baptist, other Elijah, and still other Jeremiah, or just one of the prophets, he said to them, really? But what do you say that I am? And Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, the Son of the living God. Then Jesus answered him, Blessed, happy, spiritually secured, favored by God, are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because flesh and blood, mortal man did not reveal this to you, oh. but my Father, who is in heaven. And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, oh. and the gates of it, death will not overpower it, by preventing the resurrection of the, of the Christ. I will give you the keys, authority of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind, forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful or not, we have already been, been bound in heaven. And whatever you lose, permit, declare, lawful or not, we have already been Lose in heaven. They yeah. talk, they, the fact that the gates of hell, that's what I want us to that nothing we destroy, we hinder the move of God. That which, which, of, what verse in Matthew was that, Pastor Matthew? What? Matthew chapter 16. Oh, 16. Okay. From fast 15 to 20 to 19. That's what uh, we are read. So, oh. I read it in the book of, in the, in the Amplified Bible. Yeah. So, that, I want us to say that because why does he say AIDS, L, will not prevail? Because in this world that we are in, though as we are Christians, Satan will, will come in any form or shape but the assurance that we have received from the starting of this church that the gates of AIDS will never prevail. And to any man or woman of God, any born again child of God, power of darkness will never prevail over your life. Amen. That which I want us to take home today, that no matter what is going on, have that assurance. I like that song. Blessed assurance, mm -hmm. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a, of a glorious divine. Mm -hmm. So that assurance is there. But today, many are losing that assurance and they are running after things that are not nothing. Mm. And because of that, they, they, their faith in Christ is diminishing because this same time said that if possible, we deceive the elect. Many have been deceived. Many have been caged. Many have been frustrated when you go into the world and mix with other people. Listen to what they are saying. Some we call them, I don't you know, I was born a Christian. They always say, I was one, I, I did it and that. You did it. Where are you now? What are you doing? That's the question. Mm. And the scripture we give you, we say, ah, because of this, because of this. And I say, Lord, don't they see it that the Bible says, in this world, you will have what? 
tribulation, but rejoice because I've overcome it. It does not say in this world, everything will be smooth to you. It doesn't say that. It lets us know that they will persecute you. Because the people of this world, they hate light. Anything that we expose them, they don't want it. Because their works are darkness. Mm. So, because of that, they will pass quit. They will like to do frustrate your efforts. In this nation, most of what they do, they do it physically. But in some other nations, it's spiritual warfare. And there is spiritual warfare in this nation as well. But when you go into the, the into in-depth of spiritual, you will know that this thing, just as I have said to Peter, he said, flesh and blood does not reveal this to you. So it's not something you can see physically. It's a spiritual church. Your life is a spiritual life. You are not what you think you are because you are in that mortal body. The one you see in the mirror is so beautiful, that's so good. What everybody admires, that's very nice. With your dress code and everything, that's excellent. But mm. more than that, what is in you is beyond what we are seeing outside. Mm. That's why the Bible says, Christ in you is the hope of glory. It does not say the name you bear. It does not say because of the dress code you wear. But say it's a Christ inside of you is the hope of glory. And that was what Peter pronounced. He said, You are Christ, the anointed one. So once you allow that sick in you, you will be going from victory to victory, from glory to glory. There's no limit and no boundary. We will do great and mighty exploits. You will be experiencing supernatural miracle because you realize that Christ that is in you, which is the hope of the glory. Amen. To balance this, I want somebody to tell me to read Romans chapter 5. 1 to, one to 5. Romans chapter 5. The book of Romans. Because that's why I say the gate of hell. Well, the, the reason why I use that word is because I know individual you are going through one thing or the other. But I want mm. to assure us today that you will, you will stay true. You are going to make it. You are a winner. You are going to win. You overcome. Everything you are going through today will be a story. Because God is in you. Christ is in you. Who has said the gate of hell will never prevail against it. Because you're a church. Not church by hand, but by election. You are choosing. God has pulled you out. So, because of that, you are a body of Christ. You are embodiment of Christ. So, not what you are looking at. I want us to see that Christ in us today. So you can tap into your, 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 your what you have. Your inheritance. The hope you have. The blessing you have. And utilize it effectively. And that will make us to run with a troop and do great and mighty exploit because that Christ is in you. Amen. And the gate of hell will never. Romans chapter 5. Anybody that says, can please help us to read it. Romans chapter 5, 1 to 5. Oh. Oh. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by whom also we have access by faith into the grace. Get over here. Wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And mm -hmm. not so that we not and not so, but we glory in tribulation, also knowing that tribulation work of patience and patient experience and experience hope and hope make not a shame because the love of God is shed aboard to our health and the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. But, it, it let us know that in that place you are going to pass through some tribulation. It doesn't not say, say that. It does not say you are not going to pass, but it says you are pictures when you are going through it. If I can take that what you are, what is paying you out from your life, I could have done it. But the Lord that we do it said that because of Him that is working in you, we work that out. You will receive your healing, your deliverance, your miracle. And when you say patience, you may think that maybe yesterday it may be a, this may take a year before it happens. If God may, can do it suddenly, suddenly. Okay. Uh, I don't know how she's to look and pro I mean, Lord God, I don't know how to say it in your in English. Can you help us, Sister Olu, please, ma? Please mute it. You mute it, Sister Olu. Oh. Oh, okay. The moment. Lord God, I don't know how the moment Jesus stepped in, Olubala, our Savior, the moment the Savior stepped in, stepped in, yes. my life became settled. My life, um, yeah. Came back. My life, no, let me get the real um, um, translation. My life became orderly. The orderly, okay. Yeah. Order came into my life so that things are no longer happening anyhow. Things are happening, you know, things are falling in their places. Amen. So yeah, the moment, you know, Lord God, today, the moment he came, the very minute he came, the second he came, things Order. started falling in their places. Amen. So, so that's it. You may say, oh, Lord, I've been a, because I, this, I've been this Christian. I, I'm, I'm waiting for this. I'm, that, that's, that is not a problem. Waiting. He said, they that wait upon the Lord, ego will renew their strength. Strength to do what? Strength to receive. Strength to do exploit. I receive. Strength to be what he has ordained you to be. And that's what he shared with Peter. He said, Peter, flesh and blood does not reveal this to you. Because everyone say you are John, you are Elijah, you are. He said, but Peter say you are the you are the Christ, the it's Son of God. And say upon this rock I build my church. Upon this testimony, upon this word of God. So when you know your foundation, that is sure. You will not be shaken. You will not be moved. And that's what I thank God for what God is doing in Albany and New York area. I thank God because he's the one that built his church there. It's not about Moses. If it's Moses, the, that name will never be, they will not even say, they will, we will not hear anything about church in that place anymore. It's because he is building his own church. He is gathering his own people together. He is the one that makes us to know him better. The endurance we have, despite everything that we are going through as a local assembly, the Lord God Almighty is still working in us, both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. Amen. That's what you said. The Bible said that ah, because you are faithful in what you are doing, He said, No good thing will we, we, we live withhold from you. No good things. So be expecting supernatural miracle. I receive it. Because the best of your life is yet to, uh, yet to come. 
Amen. That's what he said. He said, he that cometh to him, he will no wise cast out. And he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And you are seeking him. You are looking up to him. You, you don't let anything distract you. That's a great blessing. So the, the topic is the gate of hell. I don't know what has been confronting you. Let us now see what, has, what that has been done in the life of others. There was a man, because he believed that with God all things are possible, and he was waiting upon the Lord in the Bible. He tried everything. Whenever I want to go to the pool, in John chapter 5, whenever the angel was missing, and said, oh, let me go here, and just enter him, then before he reached there, other people had gone. So he, 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 he was there for 38 good years. And you know, in the interpretation, angels are the servants of God. I know many of us have knew many, many men and women of God. And you say, God, these have prayed for me. This one have done this for me. And then this one have, have laid hand upon me. This one have received prophecy from. Why is this little gun continue? But Lord God, till they immediately appear. <laughs> oh. And that may be today for you. And I pray it will be today for every, each and every one of us. Immediately appear. He does not ask him any other thing. He said, you really want to be made whole. The man was stuttering. He said, don't you know I'll be here. I'll be trying all effort. All your servants, they have done it. The one that have pushed me into the wall. The one that have slapped me. The one that have kicked me by boot. The one that have, they have done everything. But I was still the same thing. My parents have forsaken me. My wife, I saw more with me. My children, uh, they don't even remember me. Don't you know? Oh. My husband doesn't care for me. Don't you know? All oh, the people that love me, they have distracted me. And you see, they ask me, do I want to make her? And Jesus Christ just smiled. I know, I, if I can see the face of Jesus Christ, that day, he will be smiling. That maybe he does not know who he's talking. Mm -hmm. The great I am that I am can visit you, and we shall visit each and every one of us in a miraculous way. But in America, it, it appear, your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he promise, he's going to build. I'm building. <laughs> where, be, where, with the, with the place I knew that we had, he said that, we are the temple of the living God. And any that want to destroy this temple, he God will destroy it. That's why I know you are a house. God is building you. I want you to tell yourself, God is building me. Say, say that to yourself. God is building me. And if God is building you, who is that person that can fight against God? Who is that person that can resist the hand of the almighty God? The builder appeared to him because he is the builder. He said, Man, though you have been here, you have been struggling, you have used all your efforts, you have fasted, you have prayed, you spent a lot of money, a lot of gifts, you have, ah, ah, you have done everything you could ever done. Mm. But you are still like this. But today, <laughs> the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The bright and the morning star. The ancient of days appeared. And said, man, rise up, take up your bed. Oh. It does not say, how many sins do you commit? He does not ask him. Whether he believe or not, he doesn't say that anymore. Because that's not the, the issue now. The issue is that he has to be made whole. Your problem must be solved. That's the aim of God. That's my prayer for every one of us. 
that every year your problem you carry to the to, to the sanctuary today, that you make it to come to this place today, God will answer it. God will solve your problem. You will not go out of this place the same way. Because you have said the gates of hell will never be built. Amen. The man will and walk. People want, well, are asking him. He said, I know that <laughs> he has <have> done it. <laughs> he has done it for me. I know your son will be. He has done for me. He has done for me. He okay. has done it for you. He mm. has done for us. What my mm. papa can never do, he has done it for me. Oh, oh hallelujah. He has done it for me. Mm. What nobody cannot do, he will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he has promised. Mm. Another one, the middle the child died, he gathered the mourners together. She gathered all the mourners. They were gathering from east, west, north, south, called all relatives. He said, come and mourn, the only child I have. That was oh. the only cause. She gathered everyone. Mm. And ready to bury the only hope. Maybe in your life you have said there's no more hope for this anymore. You are burying some something important to your life and say, let us forget about it. I don't know whether this can ever happen in my life anymore. Because I can't do it to be dead. I can't do it to be thinking. Let me go and bury it. Because it's of no more use. But that very glorious day, the great I am that I am, suddenly he appeared. He said, Woman, cry no more. The Lord God has wiped away the tears from that woman that day. We wipe away your tears today. We wipe away our tears today. I will say that which you have that which you have you have lost all the hope. You have you said that I don't know how this can be there's so no more hope. Let me bury it. Let me forget about it. The Lord said, Happy it again. When you think, I remember that glorious day. I went to Ia de Boye. I be a year. Uh, yes, Adibuye. You know, Kadi, I went to him. I said, I don't want to do this work of God anymore. I'm tired. He said, Now, the Lord God has called you, has stepped in, and you are going to be receiving the miracle. Since that day to today, never regret it. It's still working. It went beyond my imagination. The extra time is still working. I don't know whether you are in that situation. Which I was that day that made me to go to. I went to uh, Adeboye, Atebutemeta. Ah, I don't think this guy can continue this anymore. <laughs> I said, and he said, he laughed at me just as my sister laughed. He said, Moses, that Lord has started, he will perfect it. Amen. That day, it's testimony upon testimony. I know today is your own day as well in Jesus' name. Brethren, mm. the topic is that the gate of hell will never prevail against you. Because you are the body of the living God. But one thing, are you willing to hold on to that faith which was given to you? Are you ready to say, I'm, I will be pressing on? Jesus Christ asked them a question. Because he knew that, he said, are you, uh, with me? I know because I'm the bread of life. And when he was talking to them like that, that if they don't eat him, then there's no more hope. Some of them, they just left. Oh. Then he asked the rest, are you also want to go? Peter said, where are we going? The question may be in your confronting you now. Are you ready to stay put with Christ forever? 
I like to hold on to that faith. That the greater I am that I am with the same self in your life. That we will not allow the circumstances, situations, confrontation from east west to, to frustrate us. Are you ready to hold on to that? He was texting to the, the church. He said, hold on to that faith which you have. Are you ready? God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, man. Amen. Amen. I'm referring us to that same Matthew chapter 16. God is good. I'm taking us to Matthew chapter 16 and um, that same scripture. And it starts to me in a fairly different way. The Bible says in the book of six, Matthew 16, chapter uh, verse 13, it says when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples. He asked when he came to uh, Kohos, when he came to <laughs> Washington, Abi, where is Baba? When he, when he, when he came to uh, connected where I am. He asked me, you, being his disciple, and he said, who do men say that I am my mm -hmm. God is asking, Jesus is asking you and me, how do men view him? Because um, he is just one person, but he is manifesting, manifesting through millions of people now. Billions of people now, among whom me and you, we are one, okay? Oh, you are one oh. of the people Jesus is manifesting himself through. I am one of the people he is manifesting himself through. And he is asking, as people see him in us, who do people say he is? He, he should probably ask, or I should probably ask us first, who do we say Jesus is? Because mm. what you don't have, you can't give to other people. And what Jesus is not to you, you can't show that to other people. It is what Jesus is to you that you can make other people see. Therefore, you have to know who Jesus is first. Mm. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm communicating. Yes, yes you are continuing. Okay. So who is Jesus to you? Who do you think Jesus is? Who do you say he is? Is he, is he just a friend? Is he yeah. God in heaven who is far, 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 far away? Is it your Lord? Is it your savior? Is he your friend? Is he your father? What is he to you? Because what Jesus is to you is what you will show to other people. Is what you will make other people see. He cannot be to other people what he is not to you. Amen. You cannot show to other people, hey, hey, Jesus is this, when you haven't seen him in that light yourself. So I would need you to resolve in your heart or to think, look inwards Amen. and think, what is Jesus to me? Who is Jesus to me? How is Jesus to me? So listen to the reactions of his disciples when he asked them to question. The who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some say that you are John the Baptist. Some say that you are Elias. Some say you are even Jeremiah. And other, feel, other people feel you are just one of the prophets. Uh -huh. And then he asks this particular question. But before you go to that, this tells you that Jesus can be all kinds of things to other to, to people. Oh. Jesus can be, yeah. For example, the Muslims believe that Jesus is just one of the prophets, that he is not the son of God, that he can't be God himself because God is just one person. You can't have two gods. You can't have three, as we say, uh, uh, Trinity, one God. They said that is nothing like that to them. That is crazy. That is foolishness. Uh -huh. 
And that's why the Bible says that the, the, the words of the scripture, the Bible is foolishness. All the mystery surrounding the Lord Jesus Christ is foolishness to the ones who are destined to perish. So Jesus can be, he can be just one of the prophets to some people. He can even be John the Baptist reincarnate. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. According to what the scripture says here, yeah, that some people say you are John the Baptist. Some people feel that he is he's Elijah or, or Jeremiah, the crying prophet. Maybe because they saw him wept some, when 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 uh, Lazarus, when he was told that Lazarus died, you know, we got to the tomb. The Bible says Jesus swept. It's probably the reason some people will say he's just Jeremiah, he's Jeremiah. Okay. Agreed. All these people have different opinions of Jesus. You know, all these people say all kinds of things about the personality of Jesus. He now asked. He then said unto them, but who do you say I am? What am I to you? What do you tell people about me? How do you present me and project me to people? Oh. How do you make people see me? You make them see me as someone who is far away from them? You make them see me as one imaginary individual? One spirit somewhere that cannot be seen, heard, touched, or felt? Huh. What do you tell people? How do you present people? How do, what do you tell people about me? How do you present me to people? How do you make people see me? And Simon Peter said, you are the Christ. You are the son of the living God. And then Jesus said, blessed are you, Simon, by Jonah, because flesh and blood had not revealed it unto you, but my father, which is in heaven. Which means, in a nutshell, it is God that can actually help you to see the person of Jesus Christ. Oh. You cannot see or understand or appreciate the person of Jesus Christ all by yourself, with the human mind, with self, with the Adamic nature. It is foolishness to the Adamic nature. I'm not trying to go into another sermon. I'm just trying to you know, open your mind and let you see that knowing and accepting and having Jesus is not ordinary. It is not an ordinary thing. It is not. It is not something that is uh, uh, so easy to understand. You need the Spirit of God to actually reveal to you who Jesus is, and that is our prayer point today. You are going to ask God to reveal Himself to you, Jesus. You are going to ask Jesus to reveal. Now you know Him. He is the Son of God. He is the Living God. He is the Christ. He is the Holy One. But how is it to you as a person, personally? How do you see him? And how do you project him out to the world? People who look at you, how do they see Jesus in you? Is he hidden? Can you can 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 somebody can somebody look at you and say, Oh, this is Christ like. This is a Christian. This is a Christ like person. The things you do, do the things you do reveal the person of Jesus. The things you put yourself into, the things you associate yourself with, the people you move with, the people you associate yourself with. The Bible says evil communication does what? Corrupt good manner. Oh, good manner. Yes. The people you move with, the things you do, the places you go, as such places, as such things, as such people, are they all things and people and issues that Jesus Christ can identify with? Are they things that people can see and appreciate Jesus for it? That question will be left like that. You answer it in your mind, I will answer mine too. Oh. Okay, and then you need to actually open up to God. If you are still, if you haven't still known Him, if you have, if you are just knowing Him because somebody said so, because somebody says you don't have a personal experience, personal encounter, 
you know oh. okay then it means there is still much work to be done there is still much work to be done if you still find it easy to do things that you know jesus can never identify with then there is still much work for us to do there is much work for us to do the spirit of god will help us amen okay? he will help us already the bible tells us that it is not ordinary it is not a matter of flesh and blood it says flesh and blood has not revealed that to you it is not a matter that can be solved with flesh and blood it is a matter of the spirit the spiritual thing is the spiritual matter and we deal with spiritual matters spiritually brethren we're all going to open up our mouth and our heart and the, the entirety of our being the totality of our being open it up open it up, up on god and ask jesus to come into you and pray i'm not saying you are yet to accept jesus into your life as the person has a lord and Savior. that is that is the formal that is the gate that is the entrance. that is the gate now you have entered he needs to possess you jesus Mama. needs to you jesus Lord needs to develop you jesus. okay jesus needs to possess us envelope us because i'm also not left out okay. he needs he needs to oh come inside of us and live on the inside of us pastor moses pastor moses said that you are a building who lives in that building who lives in that you are a temple the temple of what is the holy spirit actually living on the inside of you oh who lives in that building my my brother's church says god's building that, that's the name of his church god's building the build the the, the the house built by god and that is you who lives in that house is it vacant? Have you allowed some unwanted tenants in that house? Hmm. Have you allowed some unwanted elements to invade that house? Oh. To occupy that house? Who is occupying that house? Who is occupying that temple? It is the temple of who? God. Who is in that temple? Okay? Now I need us to just open up unto God. I need us to just release the entirety of our being unto God and ask hmm. him to come our lives ask him to come reside in in this temple ask him to come reside in this building in this building in the come and reside in my temple in this temple in the name of the Lord. Come and reside in this temple. Come in. The song we used to sing the song. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, my life, my body. Come into, life, my, body. Come into come my system. Come and take absolute control, oh God. Come in and take possess me totally, Lord. Possess me totally in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your temple, God. Father, I need you to be in the Lord. Father, I come, need Father, you come and stay in this bedroom. Father, come and glorify yourself in this. Father, come and glorify yourself in this. In this temple, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, come in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, Father, come and make yourself known in this temple. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come into my temple. Father, come into this temple. Come into this temple. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, come into this temple. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, come into this temple. I want to come and reside in this temple, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, come and reside in this temple. I want you to come and make yourself known in this temple, Lord. Father, come in, Lord, take over to Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, we are free. We remember to that scripture. It says, "Who do people say I am?" Because he knows that people people can have diverse opinions, different opinions of him. And now, because like I said earlier, Jesus, Jesus at this time, he was in the flesh. He was man, and he was just one person. Yeah, just one individual. But he, he, had, he had 12 disciples at that point. And he believes that all the places his disciples uh, I, I have been to, he expected that they would have lived out the life of Jesus. They would have expressed Jesus. They would have shown Jesus to people. Okay? He expected they would have shown him to people. And that's why he would ask them that, ask them that question. You know, the places you go to, the people you met, 
the places you have been to, the places you have visited, and the people you met there, how did they see me in you? Oh. How have you shown me to them? How have you revealed me to them? In what manner have you created? What kind of impression have you created about me? In what manner have you manifested my nature? I'm asking us the same question. Let us see ourselves as one of those disciples Jesus Christ was asking at that time. Because I know we have met people. I know we have gone out to see people. I know people have met us. We have encountered a number of people. How have these people seen you? How have, they, how have these people seen Jesus in you? How have you projected Jesus to them? We need to be a, a, a right and good and perfect ambassadors of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yes, yes. you are making it smart. So we need to be, we are direct ambassadors of Jesus and we need to represent Jesus well. We have, we have um, uh, ambassadors of, uh, we have uh, uh, ambassadors of different countries, for example, in Nigeria, I mean, in America, in, back home in our country, we have uh, American, I mean, ambassadors from America from here and there. They yeah. are representing their countries in all these other countries. We, in, Nigeria, yeah. in, in America, you have ambassadors, Nigerian ambassador here, to America, Nigerian ambassador to America, he's representing Nigeria. Uh -huh. How, how, where you are, you are an ambassador of Christ. Where I am, I am an ambassador of Christ. How are you representing Christ? How? How are you representing Christ? I'm asking you that question. I'm also asking myself, how have I represented Christ? We are going to pray. Father, you are going to help me because I need to represent Christ well. You yes. have made me an ambassador. And therefore, I have to do this job of an ambassador for Christ. I have to do it well. There is, there is a Christian organization called uh, Christ Ambassador, something like that. Oh. Yes. Christ Ambassadors. You have, you are an ambassador of Christ and you have to do it well. It's not, I'm not saying you have to be an ambassador. You are already. I am already. Oh. We mm -hmm. are ambassadors already. Okay? So how do we do this job? That is the question. That is where that is where the question mark lies. How are we doing this? Are we doing it well? Are we doing it the way we ought to, or we are doing it the way we feel like? Oh. Are we doing it the way the Lord expects us to do, or we are doing it the way that is convenient for us? How have we been doing it? That is the prayer point. Lord, are there ways I am not doing this? Sometimes we even know. We don't need to ask sometimes. Sometimes oh. we know the things we're doing and we're not doing right. Sometimes we know because if we have the spirit of God in us, it will convict us. When we do things that are not right, the spirit of God will convict us. But it's possible for us to have ways we have done stuff and we haven't done stuff well and we do not know. Maybe. All right. Let us assume that quite a number of all those other things we are doing or we did, we probably didn't know they weren't right. Okay, God is always merciful. And we can yes. always reach out to him and ask him for forgiveness. Yes. Yes. Okay. The issue is that after forgiveness, we shouldn't go back to doing such things that he has convicted us of. Amen. So, brethren, let us, let us just humble ourselves before the throne of grace. Let us humble ourselves before the throne of grace and let us ask for his mercy in all the areas that we haven't done. I know we ask for your mercy, Lord, your mercy. Let your mercy come and rule and reign my life, Lord. Your mercy, Lord, and reign over all judgment. Let your mercy, let your mercy rule and reign in my heart, in my mind, in my will, my emotion. Let your mouth so that I can show you to the world. You is the one that people want to see, Lord. It's all about you. It's all about me, Lord. My Father, my God, let your mercy, Lord, make yourself know in my heart, in my life, in every time, Lord. Let your mercy reveal you, Lord. Let your mouth make yourself. 
Oh Lord. my Father, oh my, my God. Let your mercy be like over everything, oh, my life, Lord. Let, let your mercy, Lord, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, will show forth my life, Lord. Arise, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, let your mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon my life, Lord. Let your mercy, Lord. Father, let your mercy show your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, your mercy, let your mercy, your mercy be revealed. Your mercy be made known. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I cry for mercy, Lord. Let your mercy show up. Let your mercy, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, let your mercy show up. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 I normally pray a prayer when I'm praying for ministers of God, you know, in my daily devotions, I pray and I say that it's possible, you know, because it's possible for there to be things ministers are doing and are not, ministers are doing wrong and they are not aware of it. You uh -huh. know, that it's, it's possible. So I usually pray and ask God to reveal to us whatever we're doing you know, because the devil is so cunning and crafty. Yeah. The devil is so cunning and crafty. You know, a portion of the Bible even says that sometimes the devil appears as an angel of light. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So he's very cunning and crafty. He cunningly and craftily drafts people to do things contrary to the will of God and plan of God for their lives. He craftily and cunningly, you know, make people, lay up people to do things that will stand against them before God. And so I always pray, Father, open our eyes. Let us see where we are missing it. And give Father us the grace. Just... Yes. Give us the grace. Give us, you see, you see, I, I think this was last week. Was it last week? When I, I no, was it last Sunday? It could be like, yeah, I think it was last Last Sunday when I said, when I said that we don't like to accept blames. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Okay. We don't like to accept blames. Therefore, we do things one way or the other just to cover our blames, just to cover our fault so that people will not blame us. You know, uh -huh. just to cover wherever we are wrong, we try our, as much as possible, you know, just to cover that wrong. And doing that gives the devil a loophole to capitalize on, to afflict us. You know, so what God expects from us is to expose the devil, not covering. Amen. What God expects yeah. us is to expose. I, and I, I remember saying that even in very, very little, minute, insignificant things, we want to cover up because we don't like people blaming us, because we don't like people apportioning blames on us. We don't like it. I don't like it either. So I'm not saying I'm, 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 I'm exempted. No, nobody likes to be blamed. Everybody likes to be praised. Everybody likes to be praised. And that is what the problem, problem is with us Christians. Apart from the fact that we don't like to be blamed, it's worse when people who are younger or junior to Rose and Ram want to blame us. It's worse. You know, your superior may blame you. Uh, however, seriously, you cover your, your, your flanks. He may still see it and blame you it's okay you don't take too much offense even though you you rather not want that to happen but when somebody who is younger or who is junior you know in whatever rank in whatever area you find yourself when a junior person begins to scold you begins to tell you you haven't yeah, done this you feel you feel a lot more offended you feel you feel disgrace, you That's feel awesome. relegated, you know, all those kind of things. You understand? But it doesn't matter where scolding is coming from. God can use anybody to scold anybody. God can speak through anybody to anybody. It doesn't matter if the person is younger or older or smaller or, or, or junior. Hallelujah. Amen. So, brethren, when we own up when we own up to our fault, to our errors, it is easier for God to help us to come out of it and not go back to it. It is easier. But when we begin to cover up, when we begin to make excuses, <laughs> hallelujah, 
Then, Amen. then there is little or nothing anyone can do to help us. Not even God. Remember the issue, the, remember the case of Adam and Eve. Remember the case of Adam and Eve. Hey, mm -hmm. serpent, why did you do this? Or oh, no, it was Adam. Who did God first? It was serpent. It was a serpent. Or who did God first ask? Okay, it was it was Adam. Mm -hmm. It was Adam. Hey, Adam, where are you? Where is why did you do this? He said, The woman you gave me. The woman you gave me gave me the, the apple. Or gave me the, the, the food. Adam. Adam, Adam, where are you? Why are you hiding? As I heard your voice and, and, and I was ashamed because I was naked. I said, who told you you are naked? Who told you you are naked? Why, why, do you, why, why are you naked? Uh, have you eaten of the fruits I said you shouldn't eat? Oh, oh, the woman you gave me. The woman you gave to me gave me the fruits and I ate it. Why didn't he say, oh my God, my creator, I have offended you. I have offended you because it was the man God gave the instruction not to eat the fruit. Over her. Yeah. He said, oh, it's the woman you gave me. And she, she, she did this. And the Lord said, woman, why did you do this? We can't. Oh, it was a serpent. It was a serpent. Who did this? <laughs> we, that is what we do as humans. <laughs> we always push the blame away. We don't ever take the blame. We don't. We don't want to. No. I know. I know somebody on this line who really, really hates to be blamed. He will say one thing or the other. He will say, and I say, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I don't know whether he's the person that is laughing now, but when I, say, <laughs> when I say, why did you do this? And you will catch him right here. He will begin to say one thing or the other. He Please will begin. Get out. What? <laughs> so. Ah, even one sister like that that is also on the line, I don't know whether she's the one that was also laugh. When I say, why did you do this? Why did you take me to the cemetery? Well, he will talk like this and talk like that and talk like just to push the blame away. Okay. We don't have to do all that. It's not necessary. The fact that we push the blame away does not, does not remove the existence of that blame. Uh -huh. It does not invalidate the validity of that blame. Whether we accept it or not, the blame is there. Even yes. if we succeeded in pushing it away from ourselves, how can we succeed in, okay. it in the eyes of God? Oh. How can we succeed in pushing it away in the eyes of God? I have my own issues. I have my own issues. I know areas that I'm like, oh my God, why did I do this? I, without somebody telling me, I will see that I, have done, I haven't done it well. It is, it is better for us to always own up so that we don't go back to doing that evil. It is better for us to always own up so that we don't keep offending God. It's better. It's always better. I want us to pray and ask God to open our eyes, open our heart, open our mind. Wherever we have come short of his glory, whether we try to cover up or not, whether we try to make excuses or not, whether we try to do whatever, you know, possible to cover the blame or not, it does not remove the existence of that issue. It doesn't invalidate the validity. Eh? It doesn't remove that validation. No, it is still there. So the, be the best thing to do is to own up, repent, and not go back there. Ask for help. God is always there to help us. Help is always available. No matter how we try to push the blame away from us, it is there. That blame is still there. Whether we acknowledge it or not, it doesn't remove the fact that the blame is there. God will help us in the name of Jesus. I want us Amen. to I want you to think, where have I done it and haven't done it well? Where have I taken advantage of other people? Where have I told a lie? Where have I refused to do something I am supposed to do? Where have I not done it well? Father, open my eyes, let me see. Father, open my eyes, let me see the name of Jesus. Give me the humility and the sincerity not to yeah. do so again. 
in Father, the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Father, I open my eyes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, open my eyes, Lord, let me see what I need to do, Lord, and no. give me the grace to do it right in the name of Jesus. Let me see where I'm missing. Lord, where I'm missing, Father, let me know. Father, let me be able to see, Lord. Oh, my Lord and my God, the empowerment the to go to do this right, Lord. Father, empowerment in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, how come I help me in the name of Jesus? My Lord and my God, how come I help me in the name of Jesus? My Lord and my God, open my eyes in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, come and do for me in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I will be able to step on myself, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I come and do it for me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Brethren, I want to ask you a question. Who has ever taught anybody to tell lies? Is there anyone? Did your, your, mother, your father, your brother, your sister, who have they ever at any point in time taught you to tell lies even when you are a baby, when you are a child, when you are still little a kid? Did anybody ever teach you no. to tell lies? Mm -mm. Naturally, it just happens. We see kids, small children, small children, two, three, they will do something and they will say, no, I wasn't the one who did it. Why? Because they are Exactly. So it is the nature of man. I am trying to say that it is not because you are not doing that because you are a bad person. You are doing it because that is the nature of man. Yes. It is. It is man's nature. It is our abuda characteristics. That's what Yoruba call it. They call it abuda. That's how man was created. Is part of man's character. It is man's. Let me say it in, in computer language. It is man's default setting. It is your default setting. Huh. That's your default. It's your default setting. You do something wrong. The first thing, the first reaction is to deny. Oh. That's, 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 that's the man's default. That's man's default setting. The only person that can help us destroy that default or reset that default, reset it to 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 God's Christ's setting is is the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. It is God the Father. That's the only way we can we can be free from this evil evil setting, man's setting, Adamic setting. Yes, that's man's, that's man's default. You're going to pray and ask God to reset your mind. Father, Let come and reset my God mind in the name of Jesus. Let God reset my our Lord mind. God reset our mind. mind. Let God reset Lord our mind and make it reset my uh, mind and tune, and tune it to heaven. Tune it. My Father, my God, reset my mind, oh God, reset in the mind. mighty name of Jesus. Tune my mind to you. My Lord and my tune God, my reset my mind, my Lord. Precious Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, reset my mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask to reset, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, reset my mind, Lord. I ask for reset in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God. I ask for reset. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Pastor, help me search. You help me search for a scripture, a scripture that says we should daily renew our mind. Oh, a daily renewal of our mind. Please help me search for that scripture. We need a daily renewal. Our mind. Yes. We need a daily renewal. Okay. Yes. Hey, every day. The devil has different strategies to help to make one derail. The devil, the devil has different kinds of strategy to ensure that you 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 are misled. That is his own preoccupation. That's his occupation. That is the only thing he does. He doesn't know any other thing to do <laughs> other than to make sure. Yeah, that's that's his job. Other than to start going, the devil says he goes to and fro. He looks for whom to divorce. Right. That's his. That's his job. 
you and you can't stop him from doing his job. That's his job. You only you want me to ensure... read it, ma. Sir? You want me to read it? Yes, sir. What's the, what what is it? Ephesians chapter 4, 23. Ephesians 4, yes. 23. Yes, and continually yes. renew in the spirit of your mind, happy, fresh, un, untarnished mental and spiritual attitude. Thank you. Spirit, uh, Ephesians what, sir? Ephesians 4.23. 4.23. Ephesians, you are reading from Amplified, sir? Yes. Okay. Ephesians 4.23 says, and be renewed. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Uh, preceding that, if you read verse 22, if you read verse 22, it says that you put off concerning the former conversation. Conversation, when the Bible talks of conversation, it's not talking about you talking to me or me talking to you. Okay? It's talking to, talking about nature. Yes. Huh. The former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt, according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, you put on the new man like you're putting on a garment. So that when people see you, who do they see first? That new man. God. When they see you, so long as you are putting on a new man, when they see you, who do they see? It is the new man you are putting on. Put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Therefore, verse 25, wherefore, Putting away, lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. You see that? Yes. Putting off lying, like lying is a garment, put it off. <laughs> oh. You put it off and put on the new man, like you're putting on a garment. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the life. Amen. Put him on. Put him on. Put him on. Put him on. When we always say, let Jesus envelope us. You know that an envelope covers something. You put something in an envelope. That is what I'm saying. Yes. That's what we're saying. If Jesus should envelope us. Jesus should, should, we should wear him like we're wearing a garment. So that when people see you, who do they see? Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Who do they say Jesus? This will remind me of that sermon, the garment of righteousness. Yes, yes. Who do they see Jesus? Let us pray. Jesus, I want to be clothed by Jesus. I need you to envelope me. I need to reside in you and you in me. I need you to open your mouth. If whatever I have been saying makes any sense to you at all, if yes. you have been able to take anything, you know, yes. from whatever I have been saying, then you see that we need this renewal of our mind. We need to completely put off that old man. Amen. We need to completely put off that old man. And the easiest way is to not shy away from our errors, is to not shy away from our mistakes, is to not, is, is to, to accept whatever evil or bad that we have done so that we won't go on doing the same thing. Look, look, it is not, um, it is not the, the it's, it's not, it is bad, but it's not the worst thing that you have committed a sin or that you have done something you shouldn't do. It is not the worst. The worst thing is to keep doing it. Oh, yes, that's true. That is, yeah. That is the worst. The worst is to keep doing the same thing you did that you know is wrong. But because you refuse to take your blame, because oh. you refuse to be scolded, you keep doing it. The enemy will enable you, will empower you, will see to it that you keep doing it. Because that is his job. So we are the ones that will have to fire the enemy. We are the ones that will fire the devil and make sure he does not work in our own company. 
Exactly. We have to fire him. Let him go look at look for his job elsewhere, not with us. He's not going to succeed with working that uh, evil work. That doing the it, he's also going to succeed doing that evil job in our own lives. We're going to fire him. We're going to fire him. Open your mouth, Father. Open my eyes. Let me see where I'm missing it. Let me see where the enemy is working in my own life. Where I have allowed the enemy to walk in my life. Let me see. Open my eyes. Help me to be able to see and help me to make amends. I don't want to make any excuses. I know I haven't done it well, but God, I need you to help me. Open my eyes. I may have known some by myself, but there are some that I really do not know. So I need you to open my eyes and let me see it and help me to be able to make amends. Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you open your mouth and pray? That's the last prayer before I pray. Open your mouth and pray, Father. Help me. Nobody is praying. I can't hear anybody's voice. I think I Pastor Moses muted. Anybody's yes. voice. Yes. I can't hear anybody's voice. I can't hear anybody's voice. Help me to put away completely yes. that old man. Help me to put away completely that old man, that old man, and help me, oh God, to be able to renew my mind. To renew yes. my mind in the name of Jesus, renew the spirit. Help me to have a renewed spirit in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 I want us to just pray and commit this um, week into the hands of God and ask yes. him to lead us. Ask him to lead us. Ask him to lead us. Ask him to lead us. There is a new week. Oh, and a new month. Happy new month, everybody. Happy, Happy new month in the name of Jesus. Pray and commit this new month into God's hand. This is the fourth month of the year. It's like we started the year yesterday and we're already in the fourth month. Yeah, let us pray. Yeah, pray. Oh, my Father in heaven, you commit this Father, month. Father, I commit this month, this month to your holy hand, Lord. Father, Father, let you. Father, Father help us this new month. We don't want to do anything amiss. Oh God, we want your spirit to lead us. Amiss, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My Lord, I'm going to guide us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. Father, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, answer us. Give us the miracle that we need, Lord. Lord. Help in us, the oh mighty God, name of Jesus. Let your light come to shine in and through me, Lord. Let your light shine. Let your light shine in and through me, Lord. That we will see your good work in me and glorify you, then, Lord. Let oh, our let our life, life preach, you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let in our life preach the gospel, Lord. Let our life, life preach, in Lord, the in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them see you. My Father, my God. Let them see, let them see, see us. you in us let as them the Christ. In us in the name let them see you in us as the Holy One, as the Jehovah, as the Lord, as the Savior, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. This session, we glorify you. Thank, thank you, Father, you, for speaking to us. Thank you, God, for helping us. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. In our lives. Thank you, yes. God, for helping us to put off that old man completely. And yes, thank you, yes, God, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our lives and causing people to yes. see you in us. Thank yes. you, oh God, for enveloping, enveloping us with your power, with your yes. might, with your yes. grace, with your anointing. Yes, Father, thank yes, you in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, for the renewal of our mind. We ask, oh yes. God, that our mind be re renewed and be tuned. Oh God, Amen. that as you transmit from heaven, oh God, we will catch the signal. We will catch yes, the signal. Lord. And we will yes, manifest Lord. your grace. We will manifest yes. your power in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. My God in heaven, we'll pray, oh Lord God Almighty, that you anoint us afresh, oh God. Anoint yes, us Lord. Afresh anoint us for breakthrough, anoint yes, us, oh God, for the power, anoint yes, us, Lord. oh God, to do the good yes. work of God, oh yes. God, in the yes. name of Jesus Christ. The Father, Lord, Lord, we ask that you go before us into, into this month, into this month, into this week, into this day, yes, go before yes, us and make God a pastor to Lord, in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. I pray for everyone, Cause here, I am under the everyone under the sound of my voice, I ask, yes. oh God, that your goodness and mercy will be our portion, in the name yes. of Jesus. We seize this opportunity to pray for our dear sister, Sister Shemon. Shemon, yes. Almighty, we are praying, O oh Lord, King of Glory. We are asking, O oh God, that you be her strength, that you yes, be her Lord. Strength, that you yeah. be her. Prayer. 
that you yes, support God. in the name of yes. Jesus. In this in trying name. time, oh God, we pray that you will help us, help us to go through this period and come through it in one yes. piece. In the name of Jesus, your, your 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 joy will be her strength, oh God. She will yes, find yes. Her strength. God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray, oh God, for every other person, Sister Vanessa, Brother O'Shane, Sister Bumi, Sister Shadi, everyone that has at one point in time gathered with us online, my God, Amen. that are not around today, I pray for them. I'm praying, oh God, that your hand will be upon them all for good in the name yes, of Jesus. And Lord yes. Almighty, all the packages of blessings that you have that you have marked for all of us, it will get to us. We will receive our own portion in the yes. name of Jesus. Not miss out on any of your blessings, oh God, for our lives in the name of Jesus. And the purpose for which you have caused us to be alive, the purpose that you have not allowed our lives to be wasted, the purpose for which you have created us, that purpose will be fulfilled to the glory of yes. your name and to the shame of the devil in yes. the name. Father, we thank you for answer prayers. Thank we you, Jesus. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I immerse into the pool of the blood of Jesus. My the blood God of Jesus. Father, I immerse us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. I ask that yes. your blood cover us. I ask that your blood will cover us. Every family mm -hmm. represented online, every nation yes. represented online. God Almighty, your blood will cover us, oh God, in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. <laughs> I pray for our country. Uh, Nigeria, oh Lord yes. God Almighty, I am praying. The Bible says, When the righteous reigns, there is peace, but when the wicked reigns, there is chaos. Father, Lord, we are praying that you will put a righteous man on the throne of Nigeria, the yes. one that is the, use, the, the one that name will, of Jesus, the one that will, the person that you are, have set aside for your own use, oh God, you will put him in the position of authority in Nigeria yes. in the yes. name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, will pray that every activity of the enemy. Every activity of the evil one, every activity of Boko Haram, Fulani, Hetzman, every activity of these evil politicians will come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the Lord. Name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. My Father, yes. my Father, we lift up your banner. We lift yes. up the banner of righteousness. We lift up the banner of peace. In the name we of lift Jesus. Up the banner of Jesus. We lift up the banner yes. of, of the gospel. We lift up the banner yes. of Christianity in Nigeria. Yes. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That is yes. the banner we lift up, O oh God. And to yes. the praise and glory of your name, you will cause Christianity to, 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 to expand in that Nigeria. Is. You yes. will cause Christianity to continue to spread in Nigeria in yes. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From north to south, from east to yes. west. Jesus yes. will ask that you reign in Nigeria. Reign yes. in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And we pray, oh God, yes, for, for America, the country in which we live in now, we pray for America. That, Father, you will continually find a place for yourself in this country. That you yes, also in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God will yes. pray that it is your will alone that will come to pass, oh God, in this country, in the name yes. of Jesus. God, will yes. thank you. Father, we give you praise, oh God. We give you Hallelujah. glory. Isaiah 54, yes. he says, no weapon from the gates so shall prosper. And every Amen. Time, in judgment is condemned for our sake. Yes. This is our portion, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, yes. Father, for answer prayers. We give you glory. Thank you, for Jesus. Prayer, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Before Amen. we share the grace, I just want to let us know that uh, I don't, I wasn't able to speak to Sister Chemon, but she yes. sent me a text message that yes. uh, she, she was, she put herself off turn her phone off because of the bereavement mm -hmm. that was happening to her yes. and that she acknowledged that she, uh, I believe she had received the money we sent to her as also. And- uh, you, believe, uh, you believe or she told you she got it? Uh, she doesn't, she does not say that in the text message, but with uh, my understanding is that she received it. Hey, mm. but you should have asked her. You should have asked her. She should have uh, at least so, acknowledged that we sent her I, money. Then I will, that, I can, I will surely do that again because I, I receive it, but I've not done that. <laughs> I, I think you can just send her um, a reply. A I think. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Screenshot. No, not just a screenshot. You can just uh, send her a text to say that, oh, you got her message. And you actually commiserate with her, pray a little and say, I hope you saw the token we sent uh -huh. to you 
as a church, as your brother. Let, let, let me, let, maybe, maybe, maybe I said that. Let me see. Let me go to the text message. Maybe because I don't want to say I do something rich. Uh -huh. You can, you know, say we well, hope that you got, you know, because she might be wondering or she might think you just decided to give her the money or whatever. You know, and even at that, I suppose she should have at least acknowledged you received exactly. of the money. Yeah, so you should just say, I hope, um, uh, you won't say it's more, but Bukele, as we normally say, that we were, we decided to put a token together. It's just a token that our widow's might, you know. All right. Uh-huh. As a widow's might, you're just a token to, to tell her that we feel for her and we identify with her. Yes. Yeah. You know, I think that will be good. Mm -hmm. I will do that. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Amen. And uh, by the grace of God, I've uh, got permission. I've uh, I've told I took my the vehicle to the to turn up, so I'm ready to be on the way this coming Friday. Maybe we finish. I'll be on my way straight. Yeah, I was shaking it. I didn't get you. Sorry. I said. This coming Friday, I will be in Albany by the grace of God. Oh, okay. Amen. So you're going to drive you. your car? Yes, I will drive to that place. Okay. By the grace of God. Amen. So we shall, we shall have a, a church together, physically, yes. this coming sure. Sunday. Yeah, that will be Easter Sunday as well. Yes, we shall be together. By the grace and of I was God. Say, you can all, if you don't drive, you can always take Greyhound. Or Mega no, I won't. I, no, I, I will drive. Oh, okay. I will drive. Yes. I, I think, I don't know where, I think it's better for you to go call, take Greyhound. But if you think you want to drive, because I mean. Drive is, drive is more easier for me than Greyhound. Oh, okay. Because of, so if I come over to that place, I, I'm going to Cambridge. I want to read by love. And oh, uh, other people. Okay, then. Okay, then. That's oh, well, you leave here. You got to with Massachusetts. So, but uh, what about your friends at um, Larry? Um, I will see Larry. Not uh, that uh, one. Your uh, Sonia. Sonia, uh, Cairo, New York. I, Cairo, I won't be able Cairo. to go to Cairo. I won't be able to go to Cairo, in New York this time around. But mm -hmm. I may ask them to come to the fellowship. Or yeah, sorry to meet man, that's a good idea. I don't know where Kyle is. Meet me. Yeah. Where will the fellowship be? We'll be in, uh, in uh, Sister Amy's place in that place. Oh. Maybe. She had to clean, she had to tidy her house that day. <laughs> <laughs> she, be, she, the, I know the, she's the, 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 um, the garage is still not uh, usable. No, yet. it's not ready at all. No. Not at all. But that, that we are going to set a pace on that when I come by the grace of God. Know what to do finally. Oh yes. Well, you see on Saturday. I mean, you could see the garage and everything on Saturday before yes. Easter. Yes. Yes. So thank you, Carol. Let what? us know. I was going to say if it's more Let than us. you, we could also, if it's okay, Sister Olu might be more cozy over her house since eh? you know i don't know if you're available i mean if it's better for you i mean because this is efficiency here I, it's more I don't understand what i'm saying i'm saying your house is bigger and nicer if it's okay for you being that this is small i don't have a problem right? that's why i asked pastor i don't you know i don't have a problem with that it depends on where you say we use uh this to lose please Okay, yeah. If you're being other people, that'd be kind of like Passy Ezekiel didn't like she. He was scared of the cat, so <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to come inside. But Mucka Okay, it, it doesn't matter. You know, that's not a problem for me. I I don't have any problem with that. I do not have any problem with that. My house is my house is a house of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we will see, Pastor, you're muted. So we will um, see you, I guess. Can we share the grace? Yes. Mm -hmm. May the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, and the supernatural of the Holy Spirit.
Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord with us now forever. and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and life shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. All right, we pass to have safe travels, and I guess we'll see you. You're leaving what time on Friday after you get off of work Friday morning? Once I get to, yes, later by now, I will start be on my way because I would like to rest at least for one hour. Oh, more, maybe. Unless yes. you can sleep with your dog. And you don't have to, you don't have to um, come straight so you can, you know, stop. Two, yes. three times on your way to rest because it's just going yes, to be... I would I would surely do that. I would yes. not stray myself to drive straight, yes, for safety. Yes. Yes. Is stop. Um, you are going to be coming from Virginia Abbey. Yes, it's eight hours, uh, eight hours, uh, eight, eight, let me see, nine hours to Schenectady. Okay, okay. <laughs> nine hours to Schenectady. Please make sure that since you are leaving in the morning. Make yes. sure you stop like at least three times. After All every right. three hours drive, please stop. All After right. Hours, drive, yeah, especially stop. maybe you can stop during rush hour because you know rush hour. I don't know where in Virginia you where do you stay in Virginia? Fairfax? No. Richmond. No, I I, I will, once I'm coming up, that's not a problem. That everything is so I've I've take I've uh, drill, I've printed the map out. I've done okay. everything. To avoid I've, the traffic. So, oh, yes. Okay. I've done everything. So you know, get 95 New York is a parking lot yes. during the daytime. Just if it's, if it's nine hours, just break it. Three, three hours, yeah. stop and rest. Three, three hours, That's stop and rest. Yes. Uh, we are not coming here to resume work. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, there is no need I'm coming to, to relax. Amen. Yes. So there is no need to be in a hurry. Yes. And we're, and we're in Virginia. Um, do you stay at anyway? Is it in like fair, like Norfolk or something, or Richmond? Uh, when I come, because that's if I explain now, you, none of you know the place. I live in, uh, it's Copy Wood. That's the station. That's the uh, the way I stay there. Well, Copy Wood. Yes. Yeah, I never heard of Copy Wood, but okay. But uh, all, all right. right. Well, all right. We'll see Thank you. Next you. Friday. Yes. Amen. Amen. Sister Amy. <laughs> yes. So. God bless. Have a wonderful yeah. Sunday. We should have had communion with her, but we don't have much people online today. Yeah. Well, we could definitely have it next Friday, next Saturday. I mean, yes, Sunday. We'll be together. That's good. We would have it next Sunday. Amen. Okay, my God bless you. Happy God bless Sunday. You. Happy Sunday. Bye bye.